Jeffersonville, Indiana has many interesting things to see and do, both along the river and just a few blocks north. For starters, it's directly across the Ohio River from Louisville and has enjoyed a long steamboat history. And what better place to learn all about it than at the Howard Steamboat Museum? Just take East Market Street along the Ohio River to find this beautiful mansion. Just across the street from this home, thousands of watercraft were made by the Howard Shipyards, including some of the largest steamboats ever made. This made the Howard family very wealthy. They built a lavish 22-room mansion completed in 1890. You can see a large carriage house where the family lived until the mansion was completed. But to take a museum tour is amazing. They had the same craftspeople that built the beautiful boats come across the street and build the house. You can see classic steamboat design throughout the house, as well as furnishings bought at the World's Fair. To this day, it's common to see the Belle of Louisville steamboat go up and down the Ohio River and in front of the Howard Mansion. Going west on Riverside Drive, you'll see an artist rendition of a steamboat paddle wheel. And the Fisherman's Wharf, where boats await journeys along the Ohio River. and the Overlook is a great place to view everything. You'll see the Jeffersonville River Stage, a floating stage where performances take place in the summer, as well as the Ohio River Greenway. It starts here and goes seven miles all the way to New Albany's waterfront. You can rent a bike to take it all in. The Jeffersonville Historic District starts at the waterfront and travels north, up Spring Street, and includes the surrounding area. Among these beautiful 1800s era buildings, is Shimp's Confectionery. Since 1891, it has served up made from scratch candies and is an absolute must stop when visiting Jeffersonville. Hey, 
chocolates, Red Hots, all kinds of candy, as well as a diner. It even has a free candy museum in the back. but absolutely come by at Christmas to see candy canes made from scratch. Further west on Riverside Drive is the biggest attraction in Jeffersonville, Big Four Station. It's a former railroad bridge converted for pedestrians. From here, it's a mile to Louisville, Kentucky, across the Ohio River. You can see modern art in the plaza. And the kids can play on a large playground. There are places to eat and get ice cream in the summer. Continuing west on Riverside Drive is the Kingfish Restaurant. Established in 1948, it's been a very popular place to get seafood and eat along the Ohio River. You'll find more bikes for rental. Just west of the Kingfish Restaurant are beautiful murals that depict Jeffersonville's past. And if you take Southern Indiana Avenue North between the murals, you'll end up at the Southern Indiana Visitor Center. Open Monday through Saturday, you can pick up travel guides and buy souvenirs.
from the Visitor's Center. Take 3rd Street around to Court Avenue and go east to Spring Street. There you'll find Warder Park and a statue of Thomas Jefferson, for which Jeffersonville is named after. You'll see the Bronze Timeline of Liberty, showing 2,500 years of liberty from ancient Greece forward. Behind that is the beautiful Carnegie Library, built in 1903. And beside it, the Sonny Brewster Bandstand, where concerts are given in the summer. Traveling four blocks east on Court Avenue, you'll find the Clark County Courthouse. It's a much more modern design than most courthouses in southern Indiana. If you take Spring Street North from Warder Park, you will end up at the beautiful and whimsical Noco Arts and Cultural District. Noco is short for North of Court Avenue. You'll find Picasso Point, a colorful place to sit on a swing, have a picnic, or walk around a maze. A new addition to the area is a place for concerts and community events. And right next door is the Clark County Museum. Make no mistake, it is much, much bigger than it looks from the outside. Here, you can learn about Clark County from prehistory to modern times with many awesome and interactive displays. Across from the Clark County Museum is the Vintage Fire Museum. It is nationally recognized as one of the best collections of vintage fire trucks and memorabilia in the country. Before you even go inside, you can see classic fire trucks in the parking lot. The collection contains firefighting equipment that goes all the way back to 1756 and so much more.
The museum also has a section where kids can learn about fire safety. For example, if you wake up in the night and smell smoke and the door is warm, don't open it. Even grown-ups can learn something here, such as what to do if a microwave catches on fire. Don't open it, unplug it. Or how to properly use a fire extinguisher. If you take Spring Street North, turn right on 10th, and go four blocks, you'll find an interesting piece of Jeffersonville history, the Quartermaster Depot. With a bright red roof, you can easily see it from a satellite map. It is absolutely massive. Completed in 1874, it was a military depot for supplies. During the Spanish-American War, 100,000 uniform shirts were produced here. By World War I, that increased to 700,000. It earned the name, the world's largest shirt factory. During World War II, it produced over $2.2 billion of military goods. Now decommissioned from the military, you can find many stores, offices, and even the Jeffersonville City Hall. despite all the great things you can see and do during the day. You'd be missing something if you didn't visit at night. In the early evening, the Big Four Bridge starts to glow and continues with an amazing light show. and the other bridges are lit up beautifully. The artwork at Big Four Station lights up in a wonderland of color. Jeffersonville is a town with many hidden surprises, with four museums, beautiful places to walk, and a lot of interesting history. It is certainly like nowhere else along the Ohio River. <laughs>